Hello hoppers and welcome to Mucho Hop. Greetings from Santiago de Compostela. Today's video is going to be packed with information. There's a lot going on, a lot of things that you should know when traveling with COVID. Oh, and today I have to take a COVID test at Frankfurt Airport. So first thing, mask, gel, keep your distance. So today we're flying to Madrid at 920, Iberia 3877, and uh, we have to leave our bags at counter seven to eight. We have to check in our cabin bag because we have containers that are more than 100 milliliters. We bought some um, sherry vinegar and you know, it's really, it's really good. So in times of COVID, the cafe is closed, restaurants are closed. Okay, let's go through security. Boarding pass ready? Es el código este aquí arriba. Es este aquí. Es este de ahí. Lo tiene que poner ahí. So this is what my trays look like. I, I took this out of my liquids bag because it's metal and it could look suspicious. So uh, I take it out so they see what it is right away. Madrid gate A3. So we have to keep our distance, right? So you skip a seat when you sit down. Please keep a safe distance from other people while waiting for your baggage. Oh, and today I have to take a COVID test at Frankfurt Airport. I'll explain when I get to Madrid. But to get into the plane, they're calling by rows, like from 20 to 24, that kind of thing. Because you want the back of the plane to get filled up first. If you fill up the back first, you won't be in contact with as many people because the front is going to be empty. Have ID and boarding pass. It's hard to film when both hands are busy. <laughs> Pass the straps around your waist, attach the clasp at the front, and tighten it to adjust. arrived at Terminal 4, gate K91. We have to go towards exit. That's where baggage claim is. Dun, da -da. Dun, dun. 
Dun, da, da, dun, da, da. <laughs> the suitcase is at belt 15. So we got the suitcase. Here it is. Arrived at Terminal 4, we have to go to Terminal 1. Okay, so here's the deal. Because we checked in our bag, and we're flying with Iberia, and then we're flying with Lufthansa, we have to pick up our bag now in Madrid because they're two separate tickets, all right? There, it's, I went to the Iberia airline, I got that ticket, and then I went to the uh, Lufthansa website, I meant website, and I got that ticket, so they're separate. It's two planes, it's two booking numbers, uh, it's, it's two alliances because Iberia is one world, and Lufthansa is Star Alliance, so they're not associated. So that's why we had to pick up our bag. And now we have to check it in again um, at Terminal One, and then uh, try uh, and then find our gate. So now we're waiting for the airport shuttle that will take us to Terminal One. We're going from Terminal Four to Terminal One. So that's where you have to stand. So although we have a two hour layover, we have a lot of things to do. We have to pick up our bag, we have to change terminals. Now we have to check in our bag and then find our, our gate. So we need the time. We have to go through uh, security control, the whole thing. To be able to enter the terminal, I had to show my boarding pass. I remind you, we have to check in our bag because we have liquids. We have liquids and containers larger than 100 milliliters. So, we have to check in our bag. He's on his way there. <laughs> Uh, we had to go to gate 214 to 2 something else. <laughs> 216, I think. So I scanned my boarding pass and went through security. Now let's look for our gate for our next flight. Frankfurt C50. We have to go to C50. Free. There's the gate, C50, Frankfurt flight. Okay, as I said, I have to do a COVID test once I get to Frankfurt airport. The thing is, if you're coming from a high-risk country and entering Germany, you have to, you're obligated to take a test. Please maintain a safe distance from other people at all times and follow my chief recommendations. Please note your face must cover in your nose and mouth, must be worn at all times. However, as of October 1st, you will be obligated to be in quarantine for five days because, because that's the incubation period for COVID. 
if in those five days you show symptoms, you obviously have to call your doctor, okay? If you have a fever, if you have lost the sense of taste or smell, call your doctor. So if at the end of the five days you do not have any symptoms, you will still have to take a test to confirm that you're negative. So this is if you come from a high-risk country and going into Germany. So I'm flying from Spain, a high-risk country, to Germany, so I will have to take the test. As of October 1st, I can wait those five days and see what happens. If I have symptoms, I call a doctor. At the end of five days, I have to take a test. If I'm negative, then I just go my own way and be happy. So there was a gate change right next to it, C49. Always check the screens. I've worn the mask for a few hours now, so I have to change it. Don't touch. So have your boarding pass and ID ready. Again, we're boarding in groups. by rows we call our row and we uh, got off the plane now we have to take our test pick up our bags too so we go to baggage claim exit I love it <laughs> So we have to go to belt 7. We have our bag. Okay, we have to follow the signs. Uh, 
all the signs. So we're actually walking towards the train station. Okay, so this is for people who are traveling into Germany from a high-risk country. You have two options. Either you do a two-week quarantine or you take the test and wait 24 hours to get the results. The COVID test is free. You can do it with either the Red Cross or Centergene. Um, if you do it with Centergene, you have to register. I'll put the link in the description. So you guys recognize where I am, right? It's the walkway that goes towards the train station. And you see the sign there, Red Cross? And Cento, Cento Jean is right over here, right across from them. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna take a swab of your throat and they'll email the results in 24 hours. Now if you don't do the test, you have to be in quarantine for 14 days, right? So that's why I'm doing the test. I decided to register with uh, Centogen or Centogen. So you have to buy a test, let's say, but it is free. So you go through the whole procedure. They send you two QR codes and then um, they, they scan them and then you just follow the, you know, what they tell you and uh, then they take a sample. They took a sample. My mouth is very dry from the plane. Um, and they couldn't get saliva so they were like scraping and scraping and scraping it was okay it didn't yeah you know, i mean it's a little sore now but it's no big deal um also do not drink do not eat or brush your teeth 15 minutes before the test and and that's it and they give you the results in 24 hours so that means don't like go to pubs and go to parties in the meantime all right just stay home and uh and just like wait for your results and if you haven't registered for anything you can always go to the Red Cross and they'll take you without any type of code okay so you can pick either one so it's been a long day hoppers where we're in Germany we took our test we took all our flights and and I'm back in Germany so let's see what results I get I feel fine I'm okay so I think I'll be negative but you know, you can uh, be asymptomatic, not have any symptoms and be positive and you can infect somebody else. So it's important that we do this. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I hope it was informative. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye!